another classic statue review for you this week. Uh, sculpted, of course, by the great Trevor Grove, who has sculpted Arnold uh, quite a few times for Sideshow Collectibles. Some great sculpts. I have them all because I'm a big Arnold fan. This is a pretty clean version of Arnold and uh, we'll have a look at him today. We have some nice pictures of the figure all the way around the box. A bit of a bio on the bottom. And I have Number 294 of 1500, this is the regular. Look at Arnie there. This is an old autograph picture of Arnie and T2. I freaking love T2. Have a look at that guys. A fantastic sculpt of Arnold's head there. Really, really nice. Great work in the hair too. The jacket, the clothes here are also top notch. You can make out a bit of weathering there on his, um, the thingy that's holding the grenades there. Again, he's got weathering on the t-shirt under there and around the stitching on the jacket. You're catching him in a... I like to think of this as, you know, he uses this um, grenade launcher in the Escape from Cyberdyne. So he's sort of walking down the hall and the base... I like what's under his feet here. It's sort of a... You know, it's, it, it's the tiles from the floor in Cyberdyne so that looks really great around here I don't know this is I could take it or leave it it doesn't really add anything to the bottom of the base there the sides of it so you know not great there coming up um, the boots again these are sculpted some great weathering on them little zippers there on the bikey pants and again that's all tailored he's got a, a belt there some very nice straps there making it just fantastic realism to the jacket you've caught him loading a grenade into that launcher and he's got a nice big strap there so I can go over Arnie's shoulder. Criticisms at the time, and I think it's a legitimate one. From certain angles, he's a little bit skinny, especially from there. This sh shoulder sort of falls away, and he doesn't have a lot of um, width in his chest there. It's not the best angle for him there. He's sort of meant to be viewed from that angle there, in my opinion, and he looks fantastic there. But that is a criticism, that skinny angle there. His arm sort of looks a little bit skinny there. But, you know, it's not a big deal. He said he'd be back, and he was back in Terminator 2. A really nice figure. The exclusive is a little... A uh, quarter scale endoskeleton arm that you can sit on the base or next to it doesn't add much as with the new uh, battle damage T2 premium format coming the thumbs up sort of exclusive I don't think it adds much either really here a switch out battle damage profile would have been preferable but they've kept it for a whole nother figure interested to see what happens in the way of collectibles with the new Terminator movie coming out, Terminator 5, that is getting filmed right now. It has Arnold and it has one of the Doctors, is the Matt Smith Doctor, is uh, filming that. So that's filming right now. Maybe we'll see something about that at Comic-Con this year. Here we have it, guys. Another classic 
throwback premium format statue review and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.